Puyala, puyala, mama, eh. Puyala, puyala, mama, eh. Puyala, puyala, mama, eh. Puyala, puyala, mama, eh. It's economic empowerment. The truth of the matter is money is power. And a woman's ability to say that the money is in her name is a huge change in the way she looks at herself, the way she is viewed in her community, what she's able to negotiate in her household. I'm Mary Ellen Iskandarian, uh, President and CEO of Women's World Banking. We are a global network of microfinance institutions and banks. We serve 40 institutions in 28 developing countries. We work with institutions that range from credit cooperatives in Burundi to full-fledged uh, multi-product regulated banks in Peru to help them provide products and services that are going to keep their focus on poor women. And this team in New York goes out and helps build the, the capabilities of these banks. So helps them in new product design, helps them in marketing, helps them in governance, um, a whole helps them in engaging in different financial regulatory reform. We've got all these amazing entrepreneurs all yes. ready, yes. suited up, trained, and they can't get funding. Our specific case with Women's World Banking was to help them identify a strategy for expansion in Africa. Women's World Banking had a very broad um, footprint in Africa for many, many years. We'd seen over the course of the 90s that Women's World Banking had really retracted in Africa. They saw tremendous potential, but Africa is a big place, and there was a big question about which are the most appropriate countries for them to engage in. So we started talking to a number of, of consulting firms um, to help us with this project because it seemed fairly daunting. And so we had a, an initial conversation that just it could just it clicked. So our work was to look at trends in these countries in terms of political stability, financial reform, uh, the role of the financial services industry, growth of the microfinance sector, and and then look at, well, how many of the banks in microfinance banks in these countries would actually meet the Women's World Banking criteria in terms of serving women. If we were able to offer a recommendation in terms of how they might think about expansion on the continent. It recommended specific countries as well as partners within those countries with whom WWB could engage. We really, really wanted them to be rigorous. We wanted good, defendable criteria, and we wanted to be able to make choices um, based on data and not just on, on our gut. And they gave me a very credible platform. There's so much more beyond Nigeria for their program and, of course, for, for what you see in Africa. Our working relationship was exceptional. They came to the problem with great frameworks and and um, and questions and and real critical eye towards the data. It led to a fully accepted and embraced plan. They were implementing the plan before the ink was dry on the final document. Three new network members, um, which for an institution that had taken on no new network members in you know seven or eight years, this was enormous. As a new leader in you know, this very venerable organization, having those tools um, and, and done in such a, a professional way was, was just a, a great gift. Yeah.